Hello, my name is Hector Ramirez. I'm the Senior Education Advisor for Hood Mifflin Harcourt School Publishers. I would like to first thank you for your commitment to education. HMH, as is commonly known, specializes in developing curriculum across the globe, especially curriculum delivered in English through blended instruction. A blended classroom is one where print and digital tools come together to create an engaging environment where students really excel. Really, it activates their desire to learn. English is now utilized throughout the world. Students are using it to socialize, to learn from each other. HMH is really committed to capitalizing on their ability to navigate technology. The key to navigating technology, though, is not just for fun and games. It's about learning how to utilize that technology to learn content, to apply it to their own learning styles, and for teachers to embrace technology to meet learning styles of students. What I mean is the kinesthetic learner, meeting the visual learner, the abstract learner, and nowadays the digital learner. And it has to be done through listening, speaking, reading, and writing. By exercising bilingualism, students are code switching every single day from their primary language to English. And by code switching, they're going back and forth. They're really exercising their ability to transition their native language, their native tongue, onto English. So sometimes they learn content in their native language, and that has to be transitioned into English. The key is long-term learning and having an environment that allows students to exercise that language. When we talk about ELT, which means English language teaching, it's about giving the students the opportunity to experience that language, to exercise that language through listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Actually, I prefer ELD, English Language Development. It is key in this world where the internet has adopted English as an international language that students are able to exercise that knowledge to be able to apply what they have learned and to drive that knowledge not just in elementary school but for the long term again. They need to get through elementary school, middle school, high school and really for the rest of their lives. To accomplish this we have created partnerships, links if you will. These partnerships allows us to meet with Intel, with Microsoft, companies that have great technology yet they need content development, they need curriculum delivery, which Hood Mifflin Harcourt and their multicultural editorial team can put together and really craft a lesson that can be delivered reaching all learners, including that digital learner. Now, technology is driving the transformation, no doubt, but education needs to also transform. HMH, along with their content, its technology, and professional development will empower teachers, schools, parents to deliver the information and to support students' growth. The key to success is going to be innovation. Innovation is the key to activating the desire to learn in this new world, for this new digital generation. And without a doubt, technology is driving innovation in education. HMH is 100% committed to its value. HMH developed the world's first full curriculum iPad app called Fuse. And the results of the first trial are just in, literally, last week. We gave one class of students in California the latest textbooks and the other class in the same school iPads with the Fuse Algebra app. The textbook only students scored 59% on the test while the iPad-only students scored at 78%. We can't promise that every student will gain 19% on their test scores, but it is encouraging for all of us that want to see the investment in technology make a difference that it does. So today I want to really reinforce that Houghton Mifflin Harcourt really pays a lot of attention to, to how each one of its programs is crafted. As I have said a few times already, we don't want to teach for the short term, we want to teach for the long term. And we want to do it through listening, speaking, reading, and writing. It can only be done successfully if the teacher and the student are applying their critical thinking skills. Learning strategies good readers use. As you look up on the screen, you see this little boy reading a textbook. It's not just about what he's reading, it's about what he's thinking. It's about what he's inferring, compare, contrast, predict, sequence. All of these skills are going to be transitioned not only through the elementary school grade levels, but into middle school, high school, and the university. So let me paint the scenario. Today we're going to be studying action verbs. So the teacher tells the students, open your textbook to page 168. 
So the students do. And some of them might read it, some of them might not. If you look up on the screen, the teacher also has taken the precaution to have a projector ready to go. It's linked up to our internet, our platform called Think Central, which also offers the same page from the textbook. Here we're looking at the ebook. The ebook is providing not only a smart board technology, but it provides the opportunity for the teacher not to go back and forth between the textbook and the digital resources. What is a verb? A verb is a word that can show action. So not only are they going to read about what an action verb is, not only the teacher is going to explain what an action verb is, but they can listen to it. So let's listen in. Or a state of being. When a verb tells what people or things do, it is called an action verb. As you can see, not only were they able to listen to a new explanation, but they were listening to a native speaker. This is crucial to students learning in a multicultural environment where English is their second language. But if they are to learn today what an action verb is, we need to animate it. Listen in. Welcome to the Verb Show, featuring the amazing, stupendous, and always active dog. <laughs> Verbs are action words, things you do. Now let the show Wasn't that fantastic? I mean, the child now sees what an action verb is. The teacher told them what it is. They can read it independently. They can actually look at the right of the page and see that it's uh, visual, that has graphic organizers. They've seen the animation. Now they can own what an action verb is, not just for today, but for the long term. This is crucial. Technology is driving the transformation. The transformation in education. And we've got to meet the digital world. Not just the digital world, but the digital generation. When you look at those faces on the screen, those smiles, those are students that are engaged, they're actively involved, they're learning because the teacher has been empowered. They are screenagers. They're learning from the screen. Just like they do with the laptops, their tablets, their cell phones. Just like they learn with their friends. But we've got to make the investment. It's not if, it's when. And when you do it, whether it's for the short term or the long term, HMH, Hood Mifflin Harcourt School Publishers, really want to be there with you, whether it's building the infrastructure, discussing security, making the investment on the equipment, buying the content, the software, and being able to empower teachers with professional development. This is an investment that is worth it. If a teacher is empowered, your students will learn. If they learn, they're going to take that information with them. And it's not just for reading language arts, science, social studies, mathematics. Their test scores are going to rise. They're going to have much better experience testing. Actually, they won't be afraid of the test because they own the information. That is growth. And growth has to be sustained. It cannot be done alone. Just like you see on this slide, think of the students helping other students in the classroom. Just like HMH is helping you navigate this new arena, this new world, the digital world, and the blended instruction that is necessary in our classroom. It has to be here and now. And I want to invite you to have HMH in your classrooms. We cannot live in the past. Look at this typing machine. It's something you would see in a museum. You've got to let go of the past. Let's welcome the future and let's do it together. And it has to be done in a blended environment. I can't say that enough. I want to continue the dialogue. We want to be part of the transformation. My email is hector.ramirez at hmhpub.com. Let's keep up the dialogue. Keep in touch, and thank you very much.